Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be all about my one year review of my Cartier Love Bracelet in the small version in rose gold. I've been wearing this almost every day since I got it. So I wanted to give you an update on wear and tear, what I think about it, the pros and cons, the sizing and all that good stuff. But I'm also going to talk about a few other practical considerations that I haven't seen mentioned in other review videos that might help you decide on one if you're in the market for one of these bracelets. Now this video is going to be a little bit different in that my face is not going to be in it because I just had my second jab two days ago and this one kind of hit me hard and I have been sleeping for the most of those two days and my face is completely puffy and swollen and not camera ready so I actually thought about skipping a video this week but I thought you know what I was planning on doing a one year review of this bracelet anyway and this is the one video where you probably want to see the bracelet close up a lot more than my face anyway so I hope you don't mind this. Now before we get into the review I want to do a quick reminder for you guys um, of my 100,000 subscriber giveaway where I'm giving away two amazing luxury prizes. I'm doing this reminder because I have still noticed YouTube deleting some of your comments. So go back to that video. I'm going to have that video linked in the description section below. So the prizes are these two. There are about three days left for you to enter. The giveaway ends at the end of August, which is the 31st of August. And I just wanted to make sure that all of you have entered successfully. So go back to that video make sure your comment hasn't been deleted and if it has been please make sure to comment again and I'll do a little reminder on my Instagram as well the day before the giveaway closes so with that out of the way let's get into the bracelet so let me go through the options when it comes to the love bracelet and why I chose this specific one and I'm just leaving my slim Justin Clue bracelet with the diamonds just because it's so pretty and I love them stacked together so I hope it's not too distracting but anyway, when it comes to the love bracelet, you can either go for the regular thickness, which is about double the width of this one, or you can go for this slim one. And both sizes come in the yellow gold, rose gold, which is the one that I have on here, as well as the white gold. I went with the rose gold because it complemented my skin tone the best. So it's probably best that you go in and try the colors on. But I have to say the Cartier rose gold is not too pink. So there's not a huge difference between the rose gold and the yellow gold. And all my Cartier jewelry is actually in rose gold, except one necklace, which is in the white gold, which is not shown here. And specifically for the slim version, you can go for the plain one like mine where you can see the screw motifs or you can go for the one with six diamonds which I'll insert a photo of or you can go for the one with 12 diamonds as well as the paved diamonds one which I absolutely love that one but you know it's really pricey so we've got to do some work towards that one if I'm to achieve something like that anyway so I went for the plain one because I noticed with the thin version of the love bracelet the diamonds are quite small and it's kind of inlaid into the metal surface so the diamonds don't really have the best setting to shine. So I noticed that the diamonds weren't that visible to be honest. With the regular with love bracelet you can definitely see the diamonds so for that version you can go for either four diamonds or 10 diamonds and those diamonds are much more visible but for the thin version you really can't see those diamonds and that's why I just went for the plain one. I always thought I was going to go for the six diamonds but I just thought it wasn't really worth it when you can't really see them and I actually got both of these at the same time so I just thought the little diamonds in my small Justin Clue bracelet you know gave the stack enough sparkle so I actually decided against the diamonds so that's something to consider. Also, even if you don't go for the Just Include bracelet to stack with your love bracelet thin, I think a much better option that's a much better value for money option would be to stack a plain love bracelet like mine with a small diamond tennis bracelet, which is probably a lot more affordable than another love bracelet and it's got a lot more diamonds and I just feel like that would be a much prettier stack and I actually got this idea from my friend here on YouTube Clara from Clara Zilla she's so knowledgeable when it comes to fine jewelry in general as well as luxury fine jewelry brands so I definitely have a tennis bracelet on my wish list but 
I am quite content with the Thin Love bracelet with no diamonds. Now the story is slightly different if you're considering a white gold small love bracelet or love bracelet because with white gold, the ones without any diamonds have more gunmetal, darker sort of color to them, whereas the versions with diamonds are rhodium plated, which means the white gold color is a lot brighter and shinier. So I personally don't really mind the gunmetal look because I just think it's so cool and edgy. But if you're into more bright white sort of white gold color, I guess that's the one time where getting the version with some diamonds would be worth your money just for the color of the metal that you would prefer. Before we get into the wear and tear, let me just show you what the bracelet comes with when you purchase it. So the bracelet will come in this box and when you open it, there'll be another box. I'm sure you've seen a million unboxings, but it's still so pretty. So I just wanted to show you. And when you open the inner box, you see the screw and it also comes with a travel pouch, which I love travel pouches. And I love this travel pouch. It's actually quite luxurious. And I believe you can monogram your initials on it. And it comes with a little cushion to wrap your bracelet on as well. And it's got a couple of pockets in there as well. So I really, really love this travel pouch. So let me just quickly show you how the bracelet comes on and off. Let me just rotate the bracelet around and show you. So there's gonna be one screw that you just need to turn 90 degrees. And when that screw is in that vertical position, the bracelet is unlocked and you just pull and it opens. So with the small love bracelet, I like the fact that it only comes apart on the one side and it's a hinge bracelet. Whereas the regular love bracelet, it's got screws on both sides and the two parts actually come apart completely. So that's probably the biggest reason I would probably not be comfortable going with the regular love bracelet because one, it is going to be so much harder to put it on and take it off. And also I'll be too paranoid that the screws will come loose and the two parts will just come undone more easily. And now let me show you the wear and tear. So like I mentioned, I pretty much wear this bracelet 24 seven. I don't take it off. I work with it. I shower with it. I pretty much just leave this on because it is a pretty small and lightweight bracelet that is not that noticeable on your wrist. So I find it very comfortable to wear all of the time. Right now the lighting might be a bit different because it was getting a bit dark and the camera was having trouble focusing on the bracelet and I think it still is having a little bit of trouble. But anyway, the love bracelet definitely scratches up. So this is the good side. So this must be the side that I normally have up on my wrist. And then if you have a look at the bottom, you can see the scratches. So you can definitely see some scratches there. There you go. So with the love bracelet, because it is a flat surface bracelet, you're definitely gonna see scratches that is just going to be inevitable. You can see all those tiny little hairline scratches as well. So this is the side of the bracelet that I've been wearing sort of on the underside. So when I put my arm down against tabletops and things, it will definitely get scratched up, but it doesn't really bother me because it's not that obvious in real life. Also, I've heard that the screw can loosen up over time if you do it and undo it too many times, the little locking mechanism. So apparently it is recommended that you just leave the bracelet on and don't take it on and off too often. And that's when I started just leaving the bracelet on full time. Now I'm just gonna go through some pros and cons of the Love Bracelet Slim. So some of the pros, it's so easy to put it on and take it off because of the hinge mechanism and just the one side of the screw coming off, like I was showing you before. It's pretty lightweight and it's very comfortable for everyday wear. You don't really even notice it on your wrist. It's pretty understated just because of the slimmer size of it. It's a really good stacking piece. So you can just have it really simple on its own, or you can stack it up with a few other pieces to dress it up. And obviously the price is much more affordable than a regular sized love bracelet. But I suppose it's not the most value for money because I know the weight of the actual gold in the regular love bracelet is almost double of the weight of the gold in the thin version, but the price isn't double. So not value for money, but the actual price of it is more affordable. Now for some cons, like I mentioned, Scratches are just completely inevitable because of the smooth surface. 
the screw is still a little bit of a hassle to take it off and put it on when you compare to other types of locking mechanisms of other bracelets that are available on the market. So the screw is still a bit of a fiddly mechanism. This one is definitely not as substantial as your regular love bracelet. So if you just want a statement, something that is really substantial, then definitely go for the regular. Going along with the size of this bracelet, the screw motifs are much less accentuated on the slim version when you compare it to the motifs on the regular version because these are just much smaller, so much less visible. But it just depends if you like something understated like I do or if you just want something that is a bit more statement. So I think it just comes down to personal preference. Now let's get into some of the other considerations that I've mentioned at the beginning of the video where I mentioned to you guys I didn't really see these factors discussed in other review videos. So first of all, the shape of this bracelet is the oval shape. So it is an oval shaped bracelet as you can see. So how well this bracelet is going to sit on your wrist really depends on the shape of your wrist. So I do have more flat wrists. So when you look at it this way, my wrist is actually quite thin, but when you look at it from this way, I do have a bit of a width to my wrist, whereas your wrist might be a bit more round shape where the width of your wrist might be similar to the sort of depth of your wrist, if that makes sense. So if your wrist is a bit more round in shape, then maybe the oval shape of the love bracelet won't sit as well. Whereas my wrist shape is very similar to the oval shape of this love bracelet. So yeah, it sits pretty well on my wrist. Also tying in with the shape of your wrist, there is another thing that I've noticed. With my wrist, I have a pretty prominent wrist bone here. So I did notice that the bracelet gets a little bit caught there. So that made it a little bit tricky for me to decide on my size. So I ended up going for the size 16, but I also considered the size 17 because I just liked how easy the 17 was going over my prominent bone. But in the end, I noticed it was going all the way down here and it was just gonna move around too much and bang into everything. So I ended up deciding to go for the size 16. So if you have prominent bone structure like me there, then you might want to consider that. Are you someone who's gonna be annoyed by the fact that this bracelet can't go over your bone very easily? Which I think that's actually a good thing because it helps keep the bracelet in that position on your wrist. But yeah, that might be a little bit annoying to you. That was definitely a factor that I needed to consider when I was deciding on my size. Now, the other thing that I didn't really see talked about is which way you wear the bracelet. So there are two sides to the bracelet. So one is the hinge side and one is the screw side. And I noticed initially I was wearing the bracelet with the screw side on the inner side of my wrist. But what I've noticed was when I wear it that way, like this, I just kept seeing that the bracelet, the screw kept leaving these impressions on my skin. Whereas if I wore it the other way, so I'm just gonna rotate it. So the screws on the outside part of my wrist and the hinge is on the inner side, then it really didn't leave impression marks like that because I think naturally how we move our wrists, we don't actually see the bracelet pressing this way to leave impression marks on the skin on the outside, or at least we don't really get to see it. So now I just wear the bracelet that way. So the hinge is on the inner side of my wrist rather than the other way around. So now coming to the conclusion, do I recommend the small love bracelet? I absolutely do. I'm someone who likes dainty jewelry that is understated. So it is a perfect piece for me. It is going to be a forever piece in my collection because I just don't see it going anywhere. Now at the moment, I am completely satisfied with my little stack, but as time goes and as I get older, maybe I'll add some more bangles and bracelet pieces to my collection. And I just feel like these two pieces will be such great stacking pieces for whatever piece I might add in the future. So I am definitely really happy with the Slim Love bracelet. And I just feel like the cost per wear has been amazing for me since I just leave it on all the time. So if you have been sitting on the fence about the Love bracelet and whether you want to get the Slim or the regular, hopefully my video 
video helped make your decision. If you want my review on the thin Justin Clue with the diamonds, I've had this one for exactly a year as well because I bought them at the same time, then let me know in the comments below. And if you've got any specific questions about the thin Justin Clue, also leave that in the comments below so I can maybe answer some questions for you as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be back showing my face to you guys in my next video. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.